So hello everyone, welcome back to ESC Norway and this is the wonderful, most beautiful, talented gemstone in this uh, year's year, year Eurovision, Sam Ryder. So, can you introduce me everywhere please, Anita? <laughs> yeah, of course I can, Every, at your service, whenever Thank you me. want. <laughs> so how are you Sam? I'm good, I'm good. The sun has just started to absolutely blaze here in Turin, so it feels good, the sky is blue. Um, yeah, we're all enjoying it. <laughs> cool. So I heard um, rumours today that you, uh, after your rehearsal, the press room went ballistic after your rehearsals. How do you feel good. about this? It was just a good vibe in the rehearsal, like not the rehearsal, sorry, the, the press room after, it was a good time. Everyone was so lovely. Um, yeah, it was, it was all down to them, obviously, because otherwise it just, it wouldn't have happened but it was um yeah i think i just got incredibly lucky with such a generous uh group of people that were very giving with their kindness and uh good energy exactly but your song is very good it is one of the <laughs> yeah. best for a long time i have to say thank you so much i appreciate that um i can't take full credit i wrote it with two amazingly talented friends of mine amy and max and uh, yes I think all of us are just so thrilled that we have the opportunity to um, kind of show it off at, at literally the songwriting Olympics. So it's, yes. uh, it's really cool. <laughs> it is. When uh, I was on a radio show uh, a couple of weeks ago, when uh, we talk about Eurovision and this year's songs, and uh, we played your song and, and talked about it, and most people really loved it. And when I was asked, I said, it feels like uh, in some sense, uh, because of the... Um, the song is kind of traditional British pop. Uh, yeah. It has yeah. vibes from the from the pop era, wonderful times, and it's like you you're coming home musically. Oh, they, this is Britain. This is United Kingdom. We know them. This is what they do. This is well. It's like something familiar. It's putting on a warm sweater from yesterday because it's yeah, so like this one. wonderful. <laughs> yes. No, that's cool that you say that. I mean, it's um. For me, like it's uh, like when we wrote that in the studio, we it, the song was finished in like ten minutes, which was oh. a dream. As a songwriter, when you get days like that, where oh. the song is already in the air, all you have to do is pick it out of the air or space and not yeah. get in the way of it, you know? because the song is completely capable of taking care of itself. You just have to sort of stand back and let it materialize in front of your eyes, and that is such a beautiful magic feeling. Um, but it was like, I listened to it and it makes me really stoked because it's a way of paying homage to like the holy trinity of giants of music, yes. me, like Elton, Bowie, mm. Freddie, like it's it's so cool. And there's even like vibes for me of like the Beatles and Oasis in the mid late. Mm. Uh, yeah, it, it feels cool. I love that what you said, like feels like coming home and literally mm. says that in the song as well. So yes. that's really cool. Is it a love song? Or is it about um, something else? I think it, in a way it's a love song because it is about realizing like, and loving what you already have in life yeah. and treasuring that. So yeah, of course it's, yeah. um, it's a love song in terms of like tapping into the emotion of love, mm. but it's kind of uh, trying to articulate that feeling of chasing things that you think you want in life yeah. only to get there, look back, to where you come from and realize you mm. had it within all along you weren't ever in a state of true lack like in terms of spiritual lack mm. um like energetically in lack you know you had everything that you needed to um to like to go on and yeah i think it's important though to remember that like we're all human and we have to go there to come back we have to like leave that space for rehabilitation of the soul if we're going to get yeah. really <laughs> exactly up there about it <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect and you know i've been dreaming for this for quite some time talking to you and finally we made it and i um i'm a fan of wordplay and i have a cheesy one if you're up for it <laughs> so mr rider won't you take us for a ride on your way to eurovision and music how did it start <laughs> How did it start? How, how no way did... into music, into Eurovision. Okay, so 
oh, I mean, it seems bonkers now. I was standing in the arena today and just realizing that it all started, well, in terms of something like you, Anita, you probably have seen like the very top of the ice cap of the journey, like me standing in the corner of my room on TikTok singing into yeah. my phone. And then, you know, thanks to everyone's such generous and loving support, which I'm so freaking grateful for. <laughs> I got to Eurovision, but there's such a like um just before that in uh, like the clubs and pubs and working in construction mm. and singing at weddings and working with my dad, <laughs> you know, and like yeah. it's yeah, it, it goes on for a long time, but it was always like the consistency and that consistent factor was always having a, a love for music and yeah realizing that what m brought me the most joy in the world was singing and feeling mm. free to express through singing i could feel happy singing to no one in a room so yeah. i don't want to change that energy and that intention just because the, the i guess the platform has gotten bigger i want to keep it like in that sort of that small space yeah that really shows on stage when you sing it's genuine oh, and everyone can feel that and that is just so really heartwarming it is i appreciate it. you have to stop because you're giving me a big head <laughs> <laughs> but i, I, I do i really appreciate it like, i always yeah. want to like like yes. keep that with singing because um it's done so I, I like i love it more than anything else in the world and i'd never want that relationship m between me and music and singing to ever become something where like what can i get from you do you know what yeah. i mean what can and singing it already gives me everything that i need I, like so thank you though appreciate it exactly so um time is running up i just have to ask you if you could uh work with um or collaborate with one of this year's eurovision artists who would it be um that's a really good question i think that we should do something all together like a live aid kind yes. of situation well, oh eurovision aid <sighs> yeah it's all bad manners to choose one person out of such a like a, mm. a healthy abundant pool of talent but yeah like a live aid would be good wouldn't it <laughs> All standing I, would there and <laughs> <laughs> I can just vision it for me yeah, so, can I. <laughs> <laughs> so any plans uh in the future what you're doing after your vision touring album yeah concerts? there's so much going on i think that's mm. really important as well eurovision is so wonderful and it's so beautiful but you can't um like it, it it deserves to be a moment in time that you don't yes. dine out on and you don't like sort of it's not a destination whatsoever it's no. just a beautiful gorgeous moment always be moving forward and um yeah like i've got a new single coming out like really soon actually um there's tons of touring i had to postpone all my europe dates because i wanted to do eurovision so so sorry yes. everyone in but I'll make it up to you. Those dates are dropping. The rescheduled dates are dropping really soon. And we're going Excellent. all over the world as well. And um, tons of Coming festivals. Coming to Norway. Oh, I'll be there, Anita. You come, yes. make sure. Oh, <laughs> front row seat, front row seat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I know you have a hectic day and I just want to give you a thumbs up for your great singing and wonderful um, staging show. And we're so excited to see you. And uh, rule Britannia. Oh, bless you. And uh, please, just I, I just want to say thank you to all the gorgeous, lovely fans in Norway um, for all your support over lockdown and all your support on those little videos that uh, I was making in the corner of my shed. I wouldn't be here without you. And I can't wait to see you properly in person sometime soon this year. Thanks for your patience. I love you all the bits. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you later, Anita. Bye-bye. Yes, bye.